Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Amy Dowling here at Fusion Pilates in Asheville, North Carolina. Today we're going to be doing some dynamic strengthening of the hip. So um, to introduce this kind of concept, you might just want to start with a little bit of external and internal rotation on the femur bone. So what I'm doing here is the leg bone is staying still and I'm moving my pelvis around the leg. Okay, and so this is important for clients to understand because it can get confusing when they're not in this upright kind of vertical position. So you wanna bring them into that first so they get the idea of the movement. And then you can do this a couple of ways. If you really want to work the fascia, you can bring the hands to either corner of the box and you're gonna press the box out. Now for many people, they can't get there and so they're living here. And this isn't really that great for um, the positioning. So if they can reach through their spine and lengthen, they have this flexibility in their shoulders, you can bring them into this position. They're going to reach into their right foot or, or a foot and then float the opposite leg up. So here I have a lot of reach through my arms and I have a lot of reach through my legs. And from this place, I'm going to start to stack my hips, one on top of the other, and then bring them back to that neutral alignment. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the pelvis around the axis of the head of the femur and I'm having to stabilize a lot through my whole body to balance as well as to dynamically strengthen my right hip, which is the standing leg hip. So you can do just this. If you want to add on to the choreography, you can stack the hips and then start to lower and lift the floating leg. So here I'm getting a little bit more work in both legs. Start to feel strengthening in the top hip. I'm having to really stabilize in the bottom hip. And then if you want to add a little bit more of a fascial stretch, you can lengthen that top leg back. So I'm really pressing through my front arm here and reaching the leg across. And then you can bend the knee and straighten. And as you bend, you don't want the knee coming forward, right? You want to keep the upper leg where it is and bring the heel towards the hips and then lengthen out. So I feel a beautiful stretch from my right arm through my right side waist all the way through the right side of my body. And then to come out of it, you want to stack back up, find that long length, and then reach yourself back down. This is a beautiful return that just kind of opens and releases all of those spinal extensors you were just working. So that's the advanced version. If you don't have clients who are ready for this, you can simply have them place their forearms here and they can pretty much do everything. They may not get quite as much movement in the pelvis, but it's a much better and more supported place for their upper back. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.